this is a Wolfie News Special Report. Good evening, I'm Veronica Corningstone. And I'm Garrett Von Thomas, and this is our special weekly Israel update. This news station has been proudly broadcasting Israel's breakthroughs since the fourth and fifth country's founding in 1948. And tonight, we're going to take a look back at Israeli technology throughout the years. Good evening. It's September 7, 1933, and a new fad is sweeping the globe. It's called Rummy Cube, invented by Israeli pioneers. And in a short time, its colorful numbers and clever challenge have captivated children and adults everywhere. Breaking news, it's February 25th, 1954, and Israel has just released its first electronic computer, one of the first the world has seen. The Weizmann Institute has been at the cutting edge of technology and has released the WISE Act to celebrate its 28th birthday. We're live at Wolfie Studios and here are tonight's top stories. It's 1996 and Israel has invented a new method of communication. A fast-paced, more conversation-like version of email, this new system of instant messaging is free and easy to use. Rumor has it that AOL is considering buying the Israeli ICQ and calling it AIM. Only time will tell. News. Israel invents a new data storage device that can hold a thousand more times than a floppy disk. What's more, it plugs right into your computer through a slot called USB. It's called a flash drive, and we have here a prototype. Israel has done it yet again, and with cancer, you better believe it. Israeli company Vaxel Biotherapeutics has just developed a therapeutic vaccine that, after completing clinical trials, could cure cancer and keep it from reoccurring. It seems Israel may have made that far-off dream of curing cancer a reality. Can a country the size of New Jersey really save the world? It's certainly possible. The Israeli technology company Camaro has invented a radar that can see through walls and rubble. Never again will rescuers have to dig blindly. They can just scan for survivors with the Zaver. Just another instance of the Israeli military in action. 2001. Israel has a medical breakthrough with a device called the Pilcam, the first double capsule endoscopy. This pill is actually a camera that has proven to be more useful at pinpointing sources of abdominal pain than any other current method. Here to comment, a satisfied patient and PillCam user, Mrs. Mark. So, Mrs. Mark, what has this pill helped you do? It has helped me live a long, healthy life. Hmm. Israeli company Nitafim makes breakthroughs in the world's first solar window. A hair removal device called the Epilator. This steel security door has saved lives. The Israeli Tavur rifle revolutionized warfare. A large-scale solar thermal energy collector. Israeli startup Nano Retina invents a chip. Can Israel help the blind see? A DNA computing machine. A thousand times thinner than a human hair. A major breakthrough at Technion. The Iron Dome system now being bought by the United States Department of Defense. A startup nation. Breaking news. Israel invents... Seriously? Israel again? That's ridiculous. These people don't stop. That's it. I'm out of here. Wow, Israel's definitely done a lot for us. Yes, they certainly have, and it's hard to imagine that they've done all that while defending their borders. Indeed, it's true. Israel has something to add in every field of technology, and has 10 Nobel Prizes to show for it. What's that? Israel just won an 11th Nobel Prize. Wow, it's crazy. There's much more where that came from, so tune in next week to our special Israel update. This has been Veronica Corningstone. And Garrett Von Thomas, Wolfie News, New York.